Hey guys, so Ripper here, back in Kerbal Space Program. I finished my plane. Uh, finished the cockpit. Made a few tweaks to the cockpit. Um, I added a probe body uh, instead of to the plane, I've added it to the uh, injection seat together with the battery. But now you can eject your seat and you don't immediately uh, use the parachute. Which means you can activate the parachute at a lower altitude, which means you don't have to wait the whole time before you reach the ground. So, Jebediah here is gonna run towards the plane, activate the ladder, and we're gonna get in. So, as you guys probably know, uh, 1.0.5 is coming up. I've been watching the streams. I'm really excited for them. And this is really an update for me. A lot of new plane parts for making jet fighters, SSTOs, and all that kind of thing. And of course, a lot of revamping of the old parts. So, uh, that's nice. I made a little mistake in my previous video. I think I've made that mistake before saying this. Um, I said you can't toggle the air brakes, you can, you can put them under a number and it will work, uh, but what I, um, what I mean, what the problem is, is you can't seem to, at least I can't, um, remove the air brakes from the brake button, you know, if you uh, go into the system you can you know, normally uh, remove a wheel and remove its brake, and it won't brake when you press the brake button, or the... Um, um, the handbrake, yes, the handbrakes. But I removed the cockpit uh, uh, air brakes from the uh, brake systems from the uh, button layout um, in the hangar. But uh, they still react, so that's probably something uh, has to do with the programming. Um, hopefully, they will uh, remedy this in the next update in uh, 1.05. So um, this is the plane. I think it looks pretty cool, pretty slick. Gets a little bit of feel of a normal modern day fighter, but uh, the cockpit makes it a little bit more sci-fi. And uh, let's take it to a spin. It, it flies pretty nice. You can fly it without SCS, or you can fly it with. I do advise at this moment to pull up from the moment you start the engines, or else it will push itself into the landing uh, runway and you will crash because it has a slight tendency to go downwards but there's nothing which a little bit uh, alt and a can uh, just tweak uh, your control surfaces the plane is pretty nimble i've uh, cheated a little bit and an extra control surface in the nose cone, just to keep the extra um, control. And it's also simply because I, I don't have a lot of wing surfaces in the front, so uh, the plane uh, seems to have the tendency to um, yeah, go down. So I had to uh, remedy that. Uh, the, the plane has four uh, turbojet engines or whiplash engines. And uh, as you can see, uh, pretty fast. And let's just say you have, um, for those who haven't seen this, this, guy, this plane has a uh, special thing next to the fact that the cockpit can open, just like my previous planes, which I made. Uh, my uh, futuristic planes, or sci-fi planes I call them, I think. I didn't really give them a, a real good name. So you're having a problem, you're going to crash, you know, you run, you run out of fuel. Oh my god, what am I going to do? Help, help, help. Well, you press 1. You inject the canopy. And then you press 2. You inject your Kerbal. And then try to get them to safety. And I failed miserably. Well, not quite. Jebediah survived. Hey, Jebediah. Um, that's also true. 
Try to eject above 300 meters or else your parachute will not react in time. So, uh, but the idea behind uh, uh, the new system is that there is a uh, the uh, control uh, the the probe core is now uh, the small probe core. I don't know what what is what is called. It's in the injection seat behind the, the uh, Jebediah. And uh, let's reload the plane. Reverse flight. Uh, to launch. And uh, there's a small battery in it, so it has a charge. So it doesn't run out of, uh, of electricity immediately. But which means if you have to eject at a great height, okay, there's the probe body. If you have to eject at a great, great height, you don't have to. The parachute doesn't immediately open, and you don't uh, have to wait the whole time to uh, float down from 4,000 meters, you know. But of course, it also means that you have to watch out and press the uh, parachute open on time, or else you will still crash into the ground. But gerbils are pretty sturdy. So, uh, which are the buttons? Uh, zero is the jet engines. Good enough. Uh, one, least brakes. This is one. Will it work with brakes on? Probably will. Uh, press one. Lose the canopies. Because the brakes are on, they probably are reacting pretty strangely to it now. They're going really high. Okay. And you press uh, two. For the uh, injection system, I, I pressed three at the same time. If you, it will probably work also. Simply press three and two at the same time when you're at a low altitude. You will probably make it to the ground, like now. I'm standing on the ground, I make it. Though the uh, seat does go higher uh, when you're not moving because it has less velocity, or no velocity at all, actually, before it starts to shoot off. Um, how did I make this? Well, you can look at the seat and already see it. And it's uh, you simply uh, take a strut, put a um, what is it called? Uh, you know this part, the uh, bolt part uh, to the uh, strut. Clap some zeptrons uh, on it. Try to angle them the right way. Put a seat on top of that. Probe uh, core and parachute and battery. You have your injection seat and the. Um, let's reverse again. The canopies work the same. You simply pla place a strut because you have no connection points uh, on the uh, on the mm, brain freeze. On the fuselage, that's you don't have a, and you simply uh, use uh, struts to make a new connection point, and uh, you simply use another uh, stack decoupler, small one, and a Zeptron um, to remove the canopy. This is funny. Okay. Let's try it again. This time it, uh, it seems to react a, lo a lot different when the brakes are open, which is just like we're playing. Pretty funny. If I simply use them when they're closed, they should hit the ground pretty fast. Look at that. Yeah, there you go. Okay, one flies off. You can clearly see they're going a different direction this time. Yeah. Okay, that's normal. So, yeah. So that's the plane. Um, so I'm really looking forward to uh, 0 0.5, 1.0.5. I think it's going to be pretty sweet. Uh, I think some of the fuselages with air intakes on are a bit big. You know, you have uh, this one, a small air intake, which is clipped into some other stuff, but still. It's, uh, you can see it, but it's not too big. Uh, if you get the other ones, you get, I think, about here, this high, uh, it will stick out this far. That's pretty far. Well, we'll see. Probably you can also make for a lot of uh, uh, fun effects or fu uh, funny shapes. Make some cool planes. 
uh, yeah. that's about it. I'm gonna end the video here. I've been uh, babbling a lot. Hope you guys liked the video. If you want to see more, uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, leave your comments in the comment sections and uh, give this video a like, it really helps. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.